welcome to another, I'm going to say it now, beautiful and thoughtful episode of I Have Notes. Uh, first, I just want to real quick, if we got it, you know you love it, give a shout out to our uh, sponsor, expressvpn.com. Uh, look, you don't want your internet provider to know what you're looking at. That's for you. That's for you and God. Um, so uh, uh, you can uh, hide your browser history at expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Um, and also, uh, hey, if you're, uh, if you're a first member, uh, hop in the chat and talk to us. We'll, uh, we'll be looking at the chat. Uh, if you answer an interesting question, uh, maybe, may, hey, maybe, maybe we'll call you out in a positive way if you ask a bad question. Maybe we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, joining me this week is my always amazing co-host, Issa Badiola. I'm Lisa. trying to type so quietly <laughs> so I can interact with Chad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got like just one, one just like, at a time. <laughs> I, I'm here. <laughs> Who do we have with us, Isa? Ooh, so our always most specialist guest in the world. We have Aaron Wayne. It's clock, me. Clock, 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 clock. The specialist. Ooh, ooh. The specialist. <laughs> Aaron, the most specialist guest. <laughs> And we also have our favorite Josh in the world. <gasps> Hello. Joshua Kuzak. Whoa. I'm well, a regular uh, guest. Yeah. What's all Josh going to say? <laughs> yeah. I, I like know. Now I just, they need a fight. I realized this. Ooh. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. They have to fight Joshua or Nellis. I do know the death battle Josh. people. Oh. Oh. So. <gasps> but do you own any knives? Because <laughs> that might be more helpful in an actual battle. I'm just, That's true. Yeah. I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. Uh, I would. I would be really curious what it would be like to have, um, and I have notes with both Josh's on. Um, Surely we could the confusion. arrange that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. There's got to be four Josh's we could get on, right? Ooh. Yes. yes. That'd be great. One hundred percent. Josh, take over. I have Josh. I th- <laughs> we got really close to four Jordans. That's true. Really close. Really close. <laughs> 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 Now, now, well, all right, we could do two Jordans and two Joshes. <gasps> it could be a J off. Yeah. Oh, a J off. <laughs> yeah. A four dude J off. Josh's J off. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, I'll be here for it, but. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's. it's <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yes! This is fantastic. This is what everybody has needed. I have Josh. <laughs> I have Josh. Ooh, that's a great title. It's also, good. It's I stole blue. it from it's Aaron like Brady 30 Josh. seconds ago. <laughs> Uh, hello everybody this is our first episode back after the great turkey day of 2020 uh where hundreds of millions of turkeys were slaughtered for our consumption um i'm just gonna take the energy and bring it down (laughs) how did you enjoy your turkey i had chicken and how did you enjoy your your bird winged animal (laughs) winged animal (laughs) it was uh pretty good yeah? Yeah. Everybody, uh, I'm I, assuming, I, I, had a bunch of low-key Thanksgivings. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. As Which is nice. One should this year. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. We it's were just a... talking about um, wearing masks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I. Oh, we'll talk about it. I just, well, I want to go to Japan! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Josh, we it's were... been... Okay, sorry. The, uh, you know, I'm going to let Josh have the floor. Whoa. For, let's give Josh the turkey floor. <laughs> what do I hey, what, what do I do the so... floor? <laughs> hey, what do you want to All right, Josh, you got a turkey and a floor. What do you, what do you do next? Now uh, we're playing it. Now we're playing a game. Bowl. This is a riddle. You right. bowl, bowl it. the turkey. Yeah. Okay. Bowl the turkey. Uh interesting. You didn't ask me if it was a cooked or frozen turkey. Um, oh, yeah. I just kind of assumed it was a frozen turkey. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah. I was thinking cooked. I was oh. also thinking cooked. But I thought I thought frozen, hmm. and then after that, I thought, what if it was a live turkey? Whoa! Whoa. Oh man! A wild card. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> the friend Issa, turkey. I don't know. Issa Badiola, more like Josh <laughs> Badiola, because y'all were like on the what? same side. Because you, you both thought frozen. Okay, I'm done. I'm right. sorry. Um, <laughs> hey, Josh. Uh huh. It's been a while since we've had you on. Um, do you want to talk about some of the stuff that you've been working on since then, especially? Things that involve uh, two specific. D- All right, already stopping the way I was about to phrase that. Uh, red versus blue. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's interesting. How I was wondering how you were going to phrase it because 
You can oh, also yeah. do death battle with that. That's kind of true. That's oh, true. That's true. Kind of I thing. was about to talk about like two sides being pitted against each other, but I didn't see. Ju- I'll tell y'all later. It was the, there, <laughs> there's a sense in my head that was not good and not what I was going for. Take it away, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut away from me. Those are the things. Uh, Red versus blue and death battle. Uh, working on those pretty hard for the rest of the year. which We're, we're excited about it. RVB is halfway through its season, which is kind of insane to, to realize. Just eight Dang. episodes. Um, and we're like halfway through it. And it's it's going really well. The team is is cranking out like beautiful animation week after week. It's incredible what they've been able to do in a pandemic. Like it's it's wild. But we're really happy with it. We're having fun. And the community has been really great. Um, the, checking out the episodes every week. Like. It's become the morning routine that the RVB crew and cast, like every Monday, we're every Monday at 10 a.m., we're all just like watching it together, uh, passing oh, back nice. memes and stuff. Our <laughs> Jen and Andre, uh, like our cast, have they have like a stack of memes and they're like, <laughs> they have Excellent. them queued up. So as soon as a plot point gets revealed, that they can then release the memes into the wild. And it's wow, fantastic. <laughs> That's very good. I love, I, 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 because we used to a long time ago, I do miss Ruby coming out on like a weekday because when Ruby comes out, it's like the weekend and it's like, I'm not, I'm going to respect people's pride. I'm not going to tell, like, like the, the writers and the directors a lot of times will like, I have like four different threads with all of the writers of like us, like finding somebody's comment or being like, LOL, they found it or like (laughs) seeing somebody's like take or something like that. But like, yeah, we're like, we're not at the office or like oh, on Slack yeah. and stuff when yeah. it happens. Uh, so I, I, remember, I, I miss those days, the yeah. interactive yeah. days. I remember we actually would do that for Cam Camp every Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Sears was a big um, uh, proponent for like going through the comments and stuff on Fridays. And we would just like find the funny ones. And then the rest of the gang, too, yeah. in the team. And, 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 and mock some people. You can oh, say yeah. it. Sure. <laughs> It makes us feel better when you when, <laughs> when they say mean things, we say mean things back. <laughs> privately, we're only privately. We're only human. Yeah. We're only human. Privately yeah. amongst ourselves. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, Josh, you're also um, episode directing our VB. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did, did you How? just do a DBZ episode? Or not, uh, uh, not DBZ. <laughs> I wish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Death battle. <laughs> Too many letters. I did. No. Yeah. So... I directed this last episode of Death Battle. I'm directing the next episode of Death Battle. Meanwhile, co-directing RBB. Um, yeah. So lots of things happening all at once. It's yeah. been, a, it's been a, busy, a busy time. It, it's funny. Uh, we had uh, Noelle on uh, just a couple weeks ago. Um, yes. I, I, I've been wanting to ask you. Did you see that episode? It's okay yes. if you didn't. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was, no, I was going to make a joke. I was going to say like, do, do, do you feel like he holds you back the same way that you, he feels like you hold him back? <laughs> um, but if you saw the episode, then I can't. Okay, well. Yeah. I thought you, um, you were going to ask what his opinions on eating cheese by itself. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what? We're not even 10 minutes in. Let's get fucking into it. Josh, how do you feel about cheese? I love cheese. I'm the exact opposite of Noel. I love oh, cheese yeah. by I itself. I knew you are the good one. All the Let's time. <laughs> I mean, I have a pack of string cheese in the fridge right now. Oh, how no, do you hey, eat cheese. the string cheese? Do you, do you peel it apart or do, do you, yeah, like, like, chomp on it? Yeah. Nine out of ten times, I will peel it apart. But every Good. once in a while, I'll just go for it. J- Josh, can I, can I ask you, is it because you want to feel powerful? <laughs> oh, when I bite into it on the yeah. same time? Yeah, because it's like I'm breaking the, the mold. I'm doing right. what I'm not supposed to do, and no right. one's going to stop me. Yeah. Like, right like right now, I'm I'm a good law-abiding citizen. I, I you know, I'm I'm staying home right now. Um, mm-hmm. I usually get my car inspected within the year that it's due. Um, I, I do, I do write, uh, but then sometimes I open up that string cheese and I'm like, I could be naughty though. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh. Yeah. Yeah. It feels good. It does. Um, it does. I do want to, I do want to point out JJO in chat went, called you Big Plate Kazemi. I kind of like that name. Ooh. And okay. And Bell, <laughs> Bell from chat goes, I direct food into my mouth, which is. <gasps> Ditto. That's We're a, all that's directors. A, exactly. That's a good yeah. <laughs> in that way. Directors. In that sense. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Put that on your resume. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much, um. Uh, cause I, I, I have a half memory of something, but I also don't want to like actually say something weird and, and give something weird away. How, how much are those two projects like actually overlapping right now? Um, like how much are you having to balance in your day to day or, um, 
you know, is uh, yeah. was one like more like production pulled ahead on one of them or something like that. Yeah. So right now it's actually a good we've struck a good balance because I'm finishing up the death battle. So it's kind of just like QCing for the next right. week, uh, which is good because it's all it's all pretty much done and reviewing final stuff as it comes in with RVB. The bulk of the work that Noel and I have been doing as as co-directors is also kind of wrapping up, which right. is nice because we're we're oh, mainly directing nice. the VO sessions, and right now we're just finishing up ADR for the last two episodes of RVB. So it's all oh, kind yeah. of finally starting to settle down a little bit, and now we're focusing on editing. Noel and I each edit half the season, so wow. finally wow. like delivering that stuff. Yeah, jack of all <laughs> trades, Jesus. Yeah, fucking yes <laughs> on us. Yeah, the the team the team over at RVB, which is also like I think a good chunk of um, had has is also a good chunk of Death Battle as well. Like you guys are such um, uh, monsters, just the, the amount of work <laughs> you guys like really have to do. You, you guys like on I would I always kind of think to myself like oh these guys are like carrying the team, but then it's like no everyone's carrying the team. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. I think that's I think that's one of the reasons why Torian kind of plucked us and chose me and Noel because he knew that we would be uh, those kind of like people who were just willing to do whatever it needs to be done. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah I mean like I, solvers. there's a yeah. I think there's a good argument a good balance between like you know having people who like super hyper specialize and it's like this is what they're gonna do they're gonna yes. do it really really well but this is all they're gonna do and then there's the like hey this is their responsibility but this thing needs to get done right now. Let's just do that real quick. You know, like, yeah. you know, and it's mm -hmm. like that. I feel like you kind of, you need both. Um, I feel like it's hard yeah. to like, you know, if we, if we only, if we had only, you know, just one person dedicated to like every single task or like, or every person was only dedicated to one task. I don't think we get anything done yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. um, Cause we don't, we don't got that, that, that Hollywood budget. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't have any best boys. <laughs> I, I would argue that every every boy in here is a best boy. Uh oh, what is what is? Hang on. <laughs> what, what? I'm gonna Google best boy. I'm kind of oh. hey uh okay I'm already I'm afraid to Google best boy. Too late. You have to do it. You're committed. Good answer. Um, Your hands I do, are on the keyboard. What what Carrie was talking <laughs> about in terms of like um people who like are are good at everything as well. That's how I also view you, Aaron. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> because no. I also, oh, I don't know what the spot is for me again. <laughs> because also, like, the, the amount of stuff that you do, Aaron, for, <laughs> I mean, for, for what you do, what you have been doing for Ruby, like, yeah. you, yeah. you know, in, in terms of, like, regular productions on 3D or, like, any even 2D productions, some, it's always a delineation of, like, props or characters and then like backgrounds and mats and from what i know of our history of friendship you have done everything uh, yeah <laughs> quite quite a lot maybe the <laughs> only thing plum. short of is like animation itself that's true yeah, yeah. for for all the pre uh, oh yeah you haven't really done storyboards have you yet <laughs> but no. you do have i could you, do I, have, uh, you could i have experience uh or school you, experience uh, anyways sequential yeah yes. it's like minor right yeah so it's just like oh aaron yeah aaron also does that as well yeah I mean, I sometimes, that. sometimes it's it's nice because it gives you the chance to work on other things. But then other times, yeah. it's like very overwhelming. <laughs> it's like, oh god, there's so much stuff I could be doing. Yeah, and I wish I had more arms. <laughs> right? Yeah, I would. I would want more arms so I can eat chips while playing video games. <laughs> Does that? I saw no. that. I saw somebody had a similar thought on Twitter recently. Oh. Oh man, that came up. Dang it! I mean, maybe it wasn't okay. I, I, somebody asked that, and it made me think. Yeah, like, what would you do if you if you woke up with with two more arms? Mm, Am I more art? I don't know. That's a good question. More well, art. I gave my answer. I yeah. would I would eat chips. I think I would <laughs> use it so I could like carry my cat around with me oh. and do stuff. Oh, what a good like, idea! Keep, like here with one set, and then like here with yeah. another set. Too. Oh, <laughs> what a good idea! Oh. Have you ever tried? Uh, uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. Josh, what would you do with two more arms? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the very first thing I would do. I know that eventually and I would keep it clean. Find my way <laughs> to a drum set. I think that would be really Ooh. Cool. Ooh. 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 You know, Now, like, now, oh. <laughs> now, Josh. Yes. I don't. I don't like. I. I don't. We don't know each other super well. We've mm -hmm. we've been in some meetings together. We've done some podcasts together. Now, uh, do you play drums already? I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Practice that's your pad. Calling, then. Right back here. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so man, to be I was to hoping two more limbs would be yeah. on a drum set. Oh yeah. No. That would that's now now uh 
what what kind of music do you like to play uh well, i guess like kind of like pop rock kind of stuff okay mm-hmm. so, so the, those, those hands cool. would probably be better than more feet <laughs> <laughs> yes right now yeah uh, I, w- I wouldn't be into like the double bass metal kind of thing okay um, <laughs> i mean yeah, how fast yeah, yeah. can you can go super fast with, so fast with double basses though yeah <laughs> if you, <did> a... <laughs> you yeah. just do that <laughs> okay okay man I, I forgot i was gonna say something else but then i just started imagining like josh's like actual like frame like his body right <laughs> now now would you <laughs> yeah, hang on. Yeah, I want to keep going down this. Okay, so oh, extra sure. hands, extra okay. hands. Are they to do more, or or are they to do other things like uh, take a bite out of string cheese? Ah, I see. Or, or, or like, wipe your brow or something. Right. I play the guitar while I'm playing the drums. That's interesting. Oh, one man band. That's throw a harmonica, you know, a harmonica on there too. Yeah, yeah. I literally saw yeah. a TikTok today of a girl. <laughs> um, playing piano but she had like a harmonica also Whoa. but she didn't have like a harmonica stand i don't know what you call it she, so she made one by stuffing like a pikachu plush in her shirt and, like <laughs> taping it in between the ears oh it was my so god good. that's amazing uh-huh. what there i don't even remember what fucking short it was for but when i was doing live action uh chris damaris was doing like some he was doing like a bob dylan thing and i had to make a <laughs> harmonica holder out of like a uh uh, uh, like a clothes hanger. <laughs> oh my god! And like I just had, I like it kept falling apart, and I kept having to remake it. Uh, and that's kind of the end. I just want to say I could do something too. <laughs> <laughs> you need a Pikachu plush, obviously. <laughs> hey, I've got one. I've got one. It looks like Ditto. They- Ooh, it's the best. Ditto the face is like the, the best. Eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, if you're anything like me, which you know you probably are. Uh, cooking dinner is not something you want to deal with at the end of the day. Um, you don't want to have to like go get groceries and figure out what you're going to make. Um, HelloFresh makes that a lot easier. You know, they're going to send you right to your door. Here are the ingredients. Here are the instructions. Cook this. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be easy to do. Uh, and it's, 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 it's going to take your mind off of all the other things and let you just focus on taking care of yourself. Um, the nice thing too, is it's flexible. Um, you can add extra meals. Uh, you know, you can, you can skip a week if you need to, um, really it's, you know, their focus is there's so much other stuff going on. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't need to be worried about it. It's, it's, you know, uh, 90% of the ingredients are sourced directly from growers. Um, and there, there's something for everybody. I'm kind of a picky eater, uh, personally, but I have yet to have trouble, uh, finding something that I would like from them. Um. You know, it's 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 the fun part of cooking and without all the, the bad, terrible parts. So uh, if you'd like to try it out, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash I have notes 90 and use code I have notes 90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. Uh, that's a that's a lot. Uh, one more time, just just so you can get it. HelloFresh.com slash I have notes 90 and use code I have notes 90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. It's worth it. It's the best. Um, oh, okay. Now I remember what I was going to say. Have y'all ever uh, heard of the thing of like eating, uh, like when you're playing games and stuff, like eating uh, chips or stuff with chopsticks? I've heard of that. Who, yes. Somebody asked Wait, me about that. I've not I heard remember. of this. Yeah, because you, you keep your hands clean. Yeah, you oh. keep your hands clean. There's a lot of Asians wow. that do it with hot Cheetos. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. They'll just have the That bag seems easier than like a flat chips. chip. Yeah. Like, I yeah. mean, I mean yeah. Cheetos would be a... The Pringles challenge. Is you gotta you gotta dig them out of the can, but at least in that way, like you don't get gamer dust. Well, see, with the can, you can just pour them into your mouth. That was That's awkward. True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That eats that video. It's just uh, cut, uh, it's just all right. Just <laughs> walk out. <laughs> yeah, we established earlier this podcast involves Jesus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or Sky Daddy. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe that started trending. <laughs> Did that come from a TikTok? What did that come from? It came from a TikTok. Um, Okay. So there's, so uh, it, you know, in um, or what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, uh, at abortion clinics, they have people who they call like um escorts, Uh, not in that way, but uh, people who will guide, like guard and guide others, Ah, because there's a lot of people who like past protesters uh, or yeah, 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 protesters who will like 
ultimately like bombard these people going into these clinics. So they're there to help the people going in to feel safe, to have a support system. And there's one person who's really railing against a protester, Uh-oh. and she was like, "You call like you call you call this this person a coward? Is that what you think your sky daddy wants?" Kind of like, <laughs> sky daddy. <laughs> It is. Sky Daddy happy really about this? You're calling this woman a coward. And I was like, oh, God. I would like to think that no matter how you feel about what religion, Sky Daddy is just a very good thing to refer to. <laughs> like, that's just a I very like good it a term. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be bad in any way. Yeah. No. In Daddy. fact, in some ways, maybe it's, it's good. It's, it's good. Okay, it's good. So you, I, yeah, re- I gotta reach say out. that and put in my vocabulary. Yeah. You gotta reach out to Sky Daddy. Um, what's uh? Okay, we should talk about we should talk about the thing that I don't want, I don't want to talk about. Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. So <laughs> Nintendo World. Universal Japan has oh, it has announced that they're opening Nintendo World in February 2021. Yeah, and it's really, really neat. Cool. Um, the, <laughs> we when we watched the trailer, so we watched the trailer, and I Wait, there's a trailer help. for Nintendo World. Yeah, it was just like what? little like still shots of what oh, it's okay. supposed to yeah. look like. Okay, I and thought it was like an actual there's, trailer. There's this one like I wish there's this one image where we were so convinced we were like, wait, is that a is that a 3D model? Or is that an actual picture of what yeah. the park looks like? Oh my gosh! I, yeah, I, you saw that, right, Josh? Yeah, and it's yeah. just like, is that real? And then there's the um, everyone keeps saying like, oh yeah, the Mario Kart ride, and it's just like, there's nothing in the trailer about it moving or anything, so I didn't want to read articles about it. But it's opening in February, and Carrie is sad because he wants to go to Japan. <laughs> Denied once already by this pandemic. I know. Mm. Oh, Carrie, you're so so. He's so sad. <laughs> I, so I, I, we talked about this before. There's a group of us that tried to go this last March. Uh, and as mm. you can imagine, we didn't. Uh, and we're trying to go again next March. And it's just like, if it happens, we'll be able to go there. I'm going to have so much fun. And I'm going to hug Mario. <laughs> and, and I'm going to try and kiss Luigi on his, little, <laughs> on his big old nose. Um, but I just don't have... Uh, High hopes that that nation will allow somebody from the U.S. Oh, yeah. in, uh, even mm-hmm. if I've been a good, good boy, and I asked Sky Daddy really nicely. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get weird. Just, if everybody could, if it, hey, hey, if you if everybody could wear their masks so that I could go to Japan, I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay. That'd be great. If for no yeah, other do reason, it, do it for Carrie. Yeah. For Carrie. There are there are hundreds of other reasons to do it. It's true. Do it for me. <laughs> do it, if, if, if you can't do it for other reasons, do it for me. But I'll just have, do it. I have one concern about like about that park, that theme park specifically. Oh, um, God. I thought you were going to say about wearing a mask. I was like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, mask, yeah. Masks are great. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to do Just the theme parks. Because yeah. I've never been to Japan. And I, like, love the Disney parks, but I've only been to the ones in the States. So I've never been to, like, Disneyland Paris or Disneyland in Japan. So it's, like, Tokyo Sea. there, yeah, if I go, is it kind of a waste? Shouldn't I, like, just be in Japan and not go to a theme park in Japan? Do you know what I mean? I have also wondered that. We talked about going to Tokyo Sea, um, which, by the way, uh, took me about six months to learn that it's uh, SEA. Uh, oh, and, and not S-E. <laughs> no, I thought it was like the letter C, like it was like the oh, third oh, like Disney the... park, and they called it Tokyo. I don't know. ABC. I didn't see it written down. <laughs> I just heard it for like four months, and everybody was like, maybe we'll go. I, I, I had to say, I'm not sure if I wanted to go or not. I, I'm i not like the biggest Disney fan, mm. so oh. it wasn't really worth it for me to go for that. If I mean, if I could hug a real Luigi. <gasps> <laughs> yes. Like, one okay. Hey, if you could just uh, if you could just sneak that into the assets folder for other broadcast shows, uh, maybe like maybe name it like ExpressVPN oh, awesome. ad dot PNG or something like that. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no. But but the second I heard it was Nintendo, I was like, no, that's worth it though. But, that's, but have you, you you've have you been to Japan before? Uh, I I have been to Japan on a uh, whirlwind work trip. Okay. Um, yes, so right. I was there for about six or s- like five or six days, 
Uh, and I would say that I spent about a day and a half not working, like, total over the gotcha. course of that. So it was, like, I was there, and I, it was very fun, and, like, I, I did a lot of cool things, but I also was not in, like, super tourist mode. Yeah. Um, so I would also say, like, you know, there's Disney shit here you can do. There's not really Nintendo shit you can do here. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. I, Disney good in point. Tokyo is different, but it's yes. still Disney, essentially. It's not, yeah. like, a exact replica of the other parts. Right. There yes, are different, yes. like attractions and whatnot yeah man I think I if, did, i'm sure it'll be fun like i would oh sorry uh, isa go ahead sorry i was gonna say i did actually go to tokyo sea oh how was oh. it oh, oh yeah so, why did i forget that? yeah it was it was good i did wish i went with other people because i went with my tour group and um i that was something i really wanted to experience with people i knew mm. um yeah uh because i kind of i was still like a little weird around strangers or people that i I didn't know as well, so I feel like I was like a huge bitch on that trip. Um, <laughs> I I feel bad for me and the people around me, but um, you felt like uh, a, a classic uh, America Jean. You're just like, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, America Jean. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, Tokyo Disney Sea, I would say I think it would be still really fun to go because it is Disney World, or it's like Disney, but you're experiencing it from like uh, this other country point of view Mm -hmm. because there are things about japan that tokyo sea still kind of um encompasses as well or like just Mm -hmm. tokyo disney in general like the way that they do special events is like oh oh you they really um hone in on like your collector mindset because they will only do certain things for certain seasons and that's it. You will never get oh, it no. any other time. The and exclusivity. then oh. there's different popcorn stands all around the park. What? But they'll only sell a specific kind of popcorn flavor. Oh my god! So gosh. if you wanted to get all the popcorn flavors, you had to go to these specific. I'm stands. so susceptible to this. It's bad. And <laughs> it's oh like- man, it's. It's, it's not even the end of it because specific popcorn stands will only have specific types of popcorn buckets. So if you wanted a Winnie the Pooh bucket, you have to go to another <laughs> popcorn stand because this popcorn stand only has Toy Story buckets. And I so want it's both. Like, and you want both. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, the second – I'm still at that point. I'm like, I mean, that sounds cool. If you said that this was Pokemon themed, oh, yeah. I, w- oh. I would spend my entire trip there. Wait, oh. is there going to be Pokemon stuff at the Nintendo Park? I mean, I, I feel know. like there should be. There has there to be. be. I have no idea. I Can I be honest? I didn't actually look at the Nintendo Park stuff yet because I was <laughs> <laughs> too I only saw, saw Mario stuff. I, I, did, I, yeah, I, I Mario, will say, yeah. I, I thought I did see someone say that uh, they're renders. They are, I don't know that they're actually pictures. Oh, um, okay. I do think they, they actually might be real. renders. Um, the sky was so blue. I know. <laughs> Sky Daddy, why? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you look, if you actually if you uh, crank the gamma up really oh, high, you'll see an outline of Sky Daddy. Like, <laughs> like wear a mask. <laughs> I don't know why he talks like a ghost. <laughs> um. Uh. Hey, real quick, this seems like a a weird transition. Uh. Oh, hey, I want to talk to y'all about something. Come, let's 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 uh let's come in close. I'm gonna here move a window, so I can uh I can do things the right way. Uh, you know, hey, look, it's Christmas, Christmas time, it's holiday time, it's December, uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes you, you want to watch, I would say movies, I'm going to say content, because I want to keep this a little bit loose, but, uh, you know, they don't always have exactly what you're looking for in, uh, you know, exactly where you are, let's say, America, um, but with ExpressVPN, maybe, maybe you can check out some other stuff, um, maybe, I don't, my sources are telling me that uh, if you wanted to watch Die Hard, you could go on the South Korean Netflix and watch Die Hard. I don't know. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just saying if you wanted to. Um, and also, I don't know if you know this, but ExpressVPN, uh, it works on all of your devices. That includes phones, that includes tablets, media consoles, smart TVs, um, probably refrigerators. Don't quote me on that. Um <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, a smart TV just is just it's running Android. It probably I don't I don't know I don't I don't, I don't know, but uh, you know yeah. So you know, on top of all of that safety stuff that is all very important, um, maybe there's some extra bonuses too. Um, if you want to try it out, you can go to expressvpn.com/rttv. Uh, um, let them know we sent you. Um, 
I don't know how you would do that, but just let them know. Um, maybe tweet at them and be like, hey, I have notes did such a good job. Uh, and also put Die Hard on American Netflix, uh, which they have no power to do, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so thank you, uh, ExpressVPN. We, we appreciate you supporting us so that we can talk about uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about. Hey, speaking of <laughs> Japan. Oh? Whoa, Isa disappeared. Oh, no. I'm here. My camera turned off, Uh-oh. so keep going. Oh, hey, different camera. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Why it's wider now. Away. Like this establishing <laughs> shot. I know. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll zoom right in. <laughs> yeah. Now we can see more Look of your room, guys. Sweet nice. Pad. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. But please, Aaron, talk about Japan. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> apparently, the Demon Slayer movie is absolutely crushing it in the Japanese oh, box office. Uh, I saw somebody joking on Twitter that like Demon Slayer is like seventy percent of the economy right now in Japan. <laughs> and, like, that <laughs> That's so sad. Isn't too far from the truth. Um, oh. Every day that the, goes uh, by that I haven't finished Demon Slayer, I, I hate myself more. And more. It is quite good. I feel yeah. it's quite good. Yeah. How many movies um, are there now? It's only this is the first one. This is the first yeah. one. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it covers the Demon Train arc. Um, mm-hmm. That just but sounds cool on its own. Uh, <laughs> just the movie and just the manga doing so well. Like the creator got like a uh, uh, publishing a culture award, which is pretty cool. Wow. wow. Yes. Yeah. Um, it were complimented on like basically lifting Japan's economy up. Out of Holy this uh, shit. pandemic. Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, they're number two in box office for the movie. Issa added that they're uh, over t- Titanic now. I think the <laughs> only one that's behind is uh, Spirited Away. Take that, oh. James Cameron. Yeah. Ha. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, or, no, wait, didn't your name already beat it? <laughs> so, Japan. Like Titanic? It your name? Yeah, I thought your name was already at the top. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. I'm looking Maybe at highest grossing films. Oh, no, it is Spirited In Away. Japan. Yeah, oh. Japan. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. I thought, I thought for some reason, I thought your name had passed it. Okay, yeah. Uh, number one is Spirited Away. Um, 30. Okay. This is where I start to not. Okay. 30.80 billion yen. I don't know if that That's means. Yeah. I'm going to say I don't that know means. How much? 30, 30 billion yen. Um, let's say that. Demon Slayer's number two of 27. Titanic's number three of 26. Suck a butt, James Cameron. <laughs> uh, Frozen, ah. 25.48. And then your name, 25.03. Anyone want to try and guess number six? Oh, God. It is American. Oh, God. And it is not uh, animated. Oh. Um, is Avatar? One of the Marvel movies. I'm going to say... Avatar what? number 11. Oh, uh, and no Marvel in the top 10. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. In American uh, no live Marvel. Movie? No Marvel in the top twenty. Wow, that no is shocking. No Marvel in well, the top. It is China. China. China's yeah, the one that. Likes yeah. I, hey, I don't yeah, think. I don't think. Sure. I don't think Marvel's gone to Japan, y'all. Um, because there's <laughs> not Easy. in the top thirty-seven. Uh, for box office revenue, there are no Marvel movies. That's very kind of surprising. Crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, wow, I have no idea that it isn't big enough. Uh, number six, uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> okay, I do that, have... That does this, make sense. Okay, this is obviously... I'm a, this is clearly like a, 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 a cultural thing that I don't understand. Um, number 19, which just based on how America perceived it, it doesn't make any sense to me at all, is, <laughs> is Bohemian Rhapsody. Huh? Oh, Wow. Number 19 in Japan? Yes. Hmm. Meaning that it beat out Jurassic Park. Mm. That bothers me. I don't understand. On a spiritual <laughs> level. I have seen, like, anime artists on Twitter, like, Japanese anime artists okay. draw, like, anime. Um... Now, and I don't want to say anything <laughs> bad about Bohemian Rhapsody. I have not seen it. I just didn't get the impression that it was, like, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. It wasn't. Um... Josh. <laughs> now <laughs> hey uh true false question i think you're immediately gonna know and then that we can stop talking about another country's uh uh box office revenue um if i said that the last samurai starring tom cruise was on, on the top 20 highest grossing film in japanese uh history would you oh, believe God. me oh my gosh 
I don't. Oh, that makes me feel a certain way, but I guess yeah. it makes some sense. I think I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes too. I'm gonna yeah. I don't know no. why. I feel like I number know, fourteen. Like, yeah. Wow. Highest wow. grossing. What's happening? Like it, it's it's happened since then. You know, like the white savior thing has continued to happen. So it had to yeah. be yeah. successful. It's on some level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they just really like Tom Cruise. Yeah. I mean, except for that one thing I do. What's the... the uh, <laughs> Look how we uh, all, like... <laughs> hit, uh, Scientology. Ah, uh, right. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, sure. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm on a list now. Why'd you make me say it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come jump on my couch or some shit. <laughs> and, how yeah. old is that, like, clip of him jumping on the couch? But it's still really <laughs> fucking funny to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like he seems like the coolest dude ever, and then like the more and I'm like, oh, okay. wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Isn't he like really short too? Hey, I'm oh, sorry. I can't. Oh, no. I mean, I'm also short. I was gonna say all the short people are gonna come after me, but I mean, uh, like, bottom yeah. tier short. So shorty. as a person, okay, Google says his height is five seven. Um, as a person who is five six and lies and says that they're five seven, he's almost definitely five six. <laughs> wow, um, that's kind of shocking yeah uh, um i do have a couple of people in chat so fake account to disable autoplay lol um says that japan really did love queen so that would explain that and and and, and uh, so did i yeah <laughs> i don't know that that means you have to love bohemian raps okay but maybe yeah okay yeah and then Brock okay maybe war just Cruise. didn't spread fast enough Oh, maybe, maybe. To not or go see they, it. I mean, <laughs> they probably have a different opinion of film language in general. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I don't, yeah. I'm don't. i not trying to dunk on this movie. I'm sorry. Sh- the, uh, end, Brock- the end of Bohemian Rhapsody is incredible. Like that final scene where they oh. recreate that final performance is really, really cool. And if you love Queen, I would understand like going to see the movie just for that. But oh. maybe I'll go watch that on we its could- own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. That final scene is worth watching. Okay, good to know. Brock in chat also says Tom Cruise is very big in Japan. Oh, I wonder yeah. why. Well, well not taller. A well, I mean, I mean, uh, his the average height is different, so he is a little. True. He's in he general a little bit taller. He's, he's huge. Um, um, yeah, they said he's huge in Japan, and I wouldn't say he's huge in Japan, but he is, you know, above average in Japan. I know we said we weren't gonna look at box office anymore. Ah, eh, fuck it, what? we lie all the time. Um, what's like the next? movie he's in that's like on the list Ooh. oh now you're also testing Ooh. my knowledge of tom gotta cruise be, movie sorry, sorry. it's gotta be it's a mission like impossible uh is he in yeah. armageddon no um uh it's gotta be a mission impossible sorry that, that's know. josh's bed independence josh's day bed. i don't think there's another one on here <gasps> okay Whoa. i guess he's not that big then well no. he's kind of like the quintessential like white person right in in <laughs> uh, like well, like i don't want to oh, okay okay i thought you meant like if we needed one white person to speak for all white people <laughs> oh, no. it would be him. i don't i don't know that i want to vote uh, he does not have my vote there who, <laughs> who does but you're right no he's a, he's a very oh who does yeah oh good question well, who is the queen i don't think i would trust person? one person <laughs> uh we talked we talked about this uh before the show john mulaney oh okay <laughs> I think in some weird fucked up situation where I had to vote for somebody to completely represent me as a person, I'd go John Mulaney. That's a solid pick. Yeah. He's great. I, 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 it's not going to happen, and, and we might disagree <laughs> here and there, but I, I feel know, safe. After this year, I feel like anything could happen. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Good. Hey. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the rest of this list uh, is, you know. There's a couple things I don't recognize, um, but that's because I don't know a lot of shit. Um, hey, which Beauty and the Beast is this? Live action what ones year? on there? Ooh, live action. Um, okay. Which Aladdin is this? Live action. Okay. Uh, you Oof. know, yeah. Yeah. It, it's all pretty standard stuff. I'm, I'm pretty, Star Wars Episode One's pretty high up there, and that makes me feel good. Oh. Oh, episode wow. One? Oh, uh, yes. The, the, the Phantom to Menace. <laughs> the Phantom uh, to Menace. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> The menace that was ghosted. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, yes, the, the, the good one. The good one. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 
I'm just I'm, I'm like right. fi- I'm like 50 50 I'm like mostly kidding are you fucking telling me when when duel of fate starts up and like the double lightsaber like are you telling me you don't get chills I'm not saying it's a good movie but are you fucking telling me hang on are you fucking are you- telling me are you fucking telling me that you don't get chills when you see Darth Maul and it's like ah. it is pretty hype. Ah, ah, yeah. I'm story. just saying. I would, I would. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. fall. That is Go jump my on your couch, please. That is my <laughs> Episode <laughs> 1 is my preferred episode prequel. Even though I watched episode two way more as a kid, I think I liked it. I watched mm. two, so I watched two in theaters eight times. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit. I loved Attack of the Clones as a kid. It was my favorite. I love the far. concept wow. of Attack of the Clones a lot. Yeah, for it sure. Doesn't hold up. <laughs> well, yeah, but just in general, like no, I'm with you. Like like that idea, I was like, oh shit, yeah. Yeah, it's mainly that scene where um, they release that kind of sound bomb in space was oh. so cool to hear in a theater. I was like, I got to oh. keep seeing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. also, uh, um, oh, wait, hang on, where'd it go? Uh, uh, oh, and I lost it. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Wondering, Ma- Wonder- oh, oh it's, it's spelled interestingly. Uh, Wondering Mind uh, suggested Tom Hanks to represent all white people. <gasps> that's what I was thinking. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. I'll, 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 um <laughs> this is uh um you know the good thing uh it, when if you read any good podcasting book the thing that they mention uh is that you should uh uh talk about other people's podcasts um but i did start <laughs> listening to one and just talking about tom hanks it's really interesting and i keep telling everybody it's called dead eyes have y'all heard of this no Mm-mm. no it's this uh it's this uh it's a podcast about uh this actor comedian named uh, daniel no i'm sorry <laughs> Uh, Connor Ratcliffe. I almost said Daniel Ratcliffe. <laughs> Daniel Ratcliffe. Connor, I think it's Connor Ratcliffe. Um, ah. I think. Uh, and basically 20 years ago, he got fired from the cast of Band of Brothers by Tom Hanks for having dead eyes. And what? You did talk about this and before. This yeah. is this, like, he he's doing this, like, podcast where he's, like, interviewing people and trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> Like, like other people he ended up, so he's interviewed like John Hamm. He's interviewed, uh, Seth Rogen. Oh he's God. interviewed the guy that actually got the part. Uh, oh, he's interviewed wow. somebody who was also in the scene. Um, it's really interesting. Um, Has he interviewed Tom Hanks yet? Cause I feel like he should. That should be like the, the season finale. Yeah. Or, that's like, kind of like, it's airing right now. It's still going. It feels like it could be heading there. <laughs> there have been multiple people, like Bobby Moynihan. Like he's been, like he's interviewed people. Who are like, oh yeah, I know, I know Tom Hanks. And it's like, oh my god, <laughs> it's like the different degrees of Tom Hanks. At this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, so oh, I, man. yeah, but Dead so eyes. every week, listen. To I have notes, and then <laughs> you're allowed to listen to the newest episode of. <laughs> As a companion piece. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wasn't it wasn't it Tom Hanks that was in a Carly Rae Jepsen music it, video? Oh, it was, and it was yep. very good. Our and queen? wasn't this our queen, Carly Rae Jepsen? <laughs> yeah. And wasn't it just because like they had randomly called him up and be, was like, hey, would you want to do this random project? And he was like, yeah. That sounds like a very Tom Hanks thing. <laughs> there you go. I, I, yeah. I feel like that's the rumor. <laughs> Have you seen that video? Yes, it was wonderful. <laughs> so, I, 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 unironically I forget love. the song. I just remember uh, Tom Hanks. I don't know the name. It's at the, I really, really, I think really, the, yeah, really, that's the really, one. really, yeah. really love you. Yeah. And I want you, you, you want, want me yeah. too. You want me yeah. too. Yeah. I, I unironically like Carly Rae Jepsen. Strikes. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm too good at singing your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's as if Carly Rae is here with us yeah. right now. With us right now. Um, She's our sky daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just looked over at Discord. Uh, uh, Tyler also said Tom Hanks. There you go. Apparently, Tom Hanks. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good man. Hopefully, I get nothing it. bad comes out about him after us talking about it's him. Been, like this. It's been oh, so, so sad. long. It's been so long, and he hasn't had bad things. It's gotta. He's gotta be safe, right? He's clean. Yeah, oh well, yeah. he did. He did have COVID. That I remember that. Oh, yeah. Was a thing, I think. Yeah. He's got. He's that so means he's weird. got good blood now. He's immune. <laughs> We need his blood. 
The Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Blood. I'll I'll, t- I'll talk to I'll talk to Japan. I'll be like, I've got that's... Tom Hanks blood. Let me in. <laughs> that's how we get everyone to take the vaccine. We just call it the Hanks vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> who, who doesn't Hanks want vaccine. that? Yeah. And if anybody's like, I don't know about that vaccine. Just, oh, it's Hanks juice. And be like, Hanks. oh. <laughs> Two-time Academy Award winning Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah. Did you know he fired somebody from Band of Brothers? <laughs> For having dead eyes? For having dead eyes? <laughs> Wait. They also have linked another article about Tom, oh, Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks donate donates, donates his, his blood plasma. What a good man. Yeah. yeah. Her vaccine yeah. research. Wow. See? Good man. We got... They actually... Good it's good I, I've read that article. Nobody click on it. I have actually read that article. Um... They tried to use it for the vaccine. It didn't work. So instead, they just injected it into the people who were working on the vaccine because it made them stronger and smarter because <laughs> it's because it's Hank's Hank's juice. And I'm changing it. It's an energy drink now. <laughs> I have notes brings you Hank's Hank's juice. Uh, my favorite my favorite bit is where you went. Nobody, uh, nobody, let's nobody, Tom it up. I don't know. I'm done. Okay, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I need to be done for a little bit. Um, i have uh i have this is this is a a, a musing i had that i kind of wanted to like pose to y'all uh on the uh you know so not this week but next week uh is cross fingers knock on wood uh when uh cyberpunk 2077 oh yeah comes out um which i'm very excited about um I wanted to ask you all as busy creative people who play video games sometimes at least mm. what do you prefer and has it changed over time would you rather have like do you do you feel like uh time spent playing a game is more important uh or is it the experience Ooh. does that make sense at all like, do, you, do is it like, is it, is it like, you know, for every, they used to, uh, Funhouse had an old show about this, uh, $1, one hour, but like it, you know, if you get, if you get 60 hours out of a game, but you got more enjoyment out of a shorter game, is that better? Or do you feel like you need like more time played in the game to get your value out of it? a loaded question it is yeah. it is because I, I will tell you my answer right so away much context yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like i i am at the point so um i talked about this like last couple weeks but like i was able to get a ps5 um and i i kind of go through phases with video games where like i'll i won't play for a while and then like i'll, I'll just play constantly like anytime i'm not working yeah. i'm like playing a video game uh and so in the last like call it two or three weeks i've platinumed uh astros playroom bug snacks and i have a hundred percented miles morales spider-man good nice. lord um oh, nice and it feels good to say that out loud and it made me feel good when i saw the trophy and i was like i i mean i have it. i was playing video game but like i was like i finished something right mm-hmm. i'm done with it and i don't need to go back unless i want to and i am really looking forward to cyberpunk and i am gonna play the ever living fuck out of it but anytime I find a big game like that, I what inevitably happens is I play for about 20 to 30 hours and then I fall off and then mm. I try and go back later and I've forgotten what happened. So I start over and then I say oh, no. I play the first same 20 hours again. Yeah. I did that with uh, Nino Kuni 2. Um, I'm about to do that with Avon Children, not Avon Children, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. remake. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm curious what y'all kind of like value more out of like a interactive experience like that mm. it's a big question i know yeah yeah it's important we're all we're all gamers because <laughs> gamers right the f- <laughs> so dumb my first thought is like oh wow the context because i was also thinking about remake in kingdom hearts 3 mm-hmm. in tandem with that kingdom hearts specifically i think as a is a better like talking point for me because it's like Kingdom Hearts 2 was a good 50 hours, Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a solid game in terms of just, like, from what I've talked about with, like, other people, a lot of people will call Kingdom Hearts 2 their favorite, even though they have so many problems with it. Sure. Um, You love to hate it. You love to hate it. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, and it was only a 25 to 30 hour game, and the feeling after it was, I waited how many years for this? For only 30 hours of content? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, but then, then you also take a step remake. back and use only yeah. 30. 
<laughs> only third. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, right? And it's just like, oh, that was a whole day of my life. Yeah. Um, and then Remake, there's it, it does depend because there's a point in Remake where they really like uh, cushioned out this one dungeon for a mm. long time. And uh, my SO who was playing it, we were both kind of just like, Oh, they did this on purpose, didn't they? It was it was kind of just like a oh that one like part kind of was just like I uh, don't know how we feel even though we mm. know like this could this could have gone way faster, right? Um, even though the I think the runtime was kind of short. Like you felt like they're maybe comparison. bloating it for yeah, uh, for like a feeling time. of value. Mm. Yeah, and so even though at the end of the day we're like this gave us no value, frankly, it was just like going up floors just to unlock a door, right? Um. So maybe my answer is more more so it's about the experience mm-hmm. um, instead of that value runtime. Yeah. Josh, what about you? I'm, I'm I think experience too. I feel like I feel like these days I only have or it feels like I only have a couple of like pockets to play games in, mm-hmm. and it's like an hour yeah. or two tops. So I really want to make sure that like I'm having fun that entire time if that makes sense yeah Mm -hmm. you know so i want to like get the most for my time and i like don't i won't work hard to platinum a game uh but in like recent years i I platinumed like god of war and spider-man because it was like fun to do those like right Mm. it was just like a part of the game was that you could also do this on the side instead of like grinding i guess but yeah I, i i live for like the one hour, two hour sessions that are like a blast the whole way through. And if a game doesn't really yeah. do that for me, then I probably will give it maybe 10, 15 hours and then kind of give up on it. Mm. Mm. I, I mean, uh, Aaron, you not too long ago, you you finally beat Death Stranding yes, finally. after like a year of playing <laughs> it off it. and on. Wow. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I, yeah, I didn't play it on and off uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sometime earlier this year. I kind of stopped and I... I'm at that point where I'm like, oh, I'm too tired to play video games after work. Uh, <laughs> it's especially super Death fair. Stranding. I love, yeah. I love Death Stranding. Definitely like one of my top favorite games. Um, I could, I could have easily put in even more hours than I did by the end of it. Um, but at that point, I was like, I've been playing this game for so fucking long, and there's like so many others coming out that I still haven't played but want yeah. to. So at, at a certain point, it's like I have to like cut myself off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I, I don't know, like. I can really go for any game. Like, some of my other favorites are, like, Journey, which is, like, yeah. maybe two hours at most. I don't know, two or three. And I've played, like, the shit out of that, and I can still go back and, like, play it again. So I definitely think it's, like, the experience. That, that, so. that was actually one of the things that got me thinking about it was I, I uh, last night I streamed this game called A Short Hike. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. And it is seriously, like, I, I played for, like, two and a half hours, and I, I beat it and, like, already started working on some of the, like, 100% stuff. And I was, like, on the one hand, it's, like, you know, I, I can't remember. I think I bought it when it was on sale, but I don't think I spent more than $10 on it. So I was, like, you know, yeah. I, 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 I am also, you know, fortunate enough, like, I'm an, I'm an adult. I have spending money. I'm not – I don't get one game a month and want that to last me until the next one. So Because I can understand mm-hmm. wanting to, like, uh... have that go, but, like – and maybe it's just a personal thing, but like I have so many unfinished things going on, like in my life, like the idea. I think I'm just a weird person. Like, I, okay, I was talking about like Nino Kuni too. <laughs> this yep. is turning into a therapy session, so I'm gonna stop in a second. <laughs> I I fucking loved every second that I played of Nino Kuni too, but it was a lot of it, and I just got tired, and and I had wow. other stuff come up. So now when I think of Nino Kuni 2, I do think of all those fun memories, but I also mm. think about the fact that it's I haven't finished it. Yeah. That's me with yes. uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, that's yeah. my favorite franchise of all time. And I literally stopped at the halfway point because, like, one, it was, like, a good stopping point, and then I yeah. just never got back to it. And now it's been, like, what, like, three or four years since it came out, and I'm like, what the fuck was I doing in that game? It was a lot yeah. of fun, but, like, I don't... I don't know what I was doing. I just I'm had like, a genius I'm idea. I'm afraid. I had a genius idea for a website, uh, but I'll tell you all about it uh, offline. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you can patent it. So we, well, okay. yeah, so we can Great. do it. Oh, yeah. Um, true, 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 true. And then nobody else, nobody else can do it. Okay. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Yeah. This is the team. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I wanted to, I just, with, like, and, and I say all of this, I'm, I'm going to play the fuck out of Cyberpunk, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And maybe... Maybe I'll beat it, and I'll be a good, good gamer boy. I'll be the best gamer boy. Um, 
probably I'll play it for like 30 hours. Because I think they're saying one, one of the testers like played for like 140 hours and didn't finish it. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Like, like, like 100% it. And it's just like, I just don't have. Yeah. I don't have that, that, no, that time. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> just, for me, that's where multiplayer like, games come in. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like, at least in like, if I'm playing Apex a ton, like, it's like, the game is changing and like the the every match is different mm -hmm. but like yeah i just i don't know it's definite i think i've been talking a lot more about like the idea of a video game experience and gameplay and how fun gameplay is with my so a lot lately because we've been coming across this thing of like what is the longevity of a game because mm -hmm. how how is a system super like what makes a system super fun that you are enabled to keep playing it even though it's the same thing right yeah. like it's mm. it's about how the systems evolve so they're going through um yakuza like a dragon oh i was which gonna is, mention that yeah yeah because <laughs> it's an interesting installation in the yakuza series which has always been an action game but this is a turn-based game now Whoa. um yeah, they turn. They have a funny way of like making it a role playing game, a role playing turn turn based game because the main character thinks everything is like um like Dragon Quest. So <laughs> you're actually viewing it from his from his uh point of That's view. That's amazing. So is it like a and, uh like Final Fantasy Pokemon or like a, a Final Fantasy Tactics or Final like a, there okay. are okay. Pokemon elements to it apparently. Exactly, yeah. Oh, really? It's, it's, it's real wacky. I've, I've seen a few people play it on stream, and it is, I think you would like it, Carrie. Okay. Yakuza itself, as like a game series, like I got into it because my SO was playing it, and mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it is such a good game series that uh, all of your suspension of disbelief is kind of just like, there because it, it's like oh this game is wild i love it like kind of a thing rachel's the biggest um yeah. fan out of yeah. all of us <laughs> in this entire company but um yeah like like a dragon like there's so many little bits of it where um my so is, is like still going through this they were going through and playing the game and actually finishing a lot of different sub stories mm -hmm. and stuff because of the rewards that it gives you so that that is essentially like what is the reward system for playing games and that's mm -hmm. why a lot of um more recent games or like multiplayer games are always like they have that loot box or they have those like little mm -hmm. bits that will release that dopamine fix mm -hmm. but is that really yeah. sustainable is that what is really going to enable you to keep playing the game i so. thought josh uh because i mean you said you you platinum the uh the the first like recent spider-man like mm -hmm. i thought mm -hmm. they've like super nailed that in my opinion like i'm, I'm working on uh, the miles morales one right now but like you know, there, there's a lot of collectibles. And there's a lot of, like, missions to do. And a lot of them are kind of similar. But it just feels so good to swing around. Yes. And it feels yeah. so good to fight and, like, do, like, stealth and then go action that, like, I kind of don't care if I'm doing some of the same stuff over again. Yeah. Because yeah. it's different. <laughs> and I want to, like, I want to, like, for the little collectibles that you have to find in random mm -hmm. pockets of the city, it's like, oh, I want a reason to keep traversing this city because it's such a fun mm -hmm. part of this game. Yeah. Have you, with, are you, oh, okay, Aaron. Oh, I was going to say, that's me with, like, the newest Shadow of the Colossus remake. Mm. Like, I've completed the story, and now it's, like, after game, you can go and do whatever. It's like, man, this is real fucking fun to, like, ride around <laughs> on your horse for hours and, like, oh, finding man. finding little secret shit. I need yeah. to get back to that. It's, it's, are it's you, real good. Are you guys the kind of people who, like, actually read every single item and, like, I try absorb to absorb all the lore. Okay, cool. I can't not. <laughs> I just can't nice. not. I speed read a lot and I'll skim, but I I, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bo books are the only thing I won't do. <laughs> yeah. If there are books in game. <laughs> yeah. I won't. Just like, no, I won't do, do that. that. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, we got to wrap up. No. Uh, I know. I don't want to. But uh, uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Josh, for for coming on. Uh, Thanks, RVB. Really. Still airing right now. Uh, what time and day would that be? Mondays at 10 a.m. on the Rooster Teeth website. Hell yeah. And then, depending on what day you're listening to this before or after that, uh, Ruby, Saturday, <laughs> 10 a.m., Rooster Teeth website. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. If you would uh, be so kind to become a first member, we would really appreciate it. It helps make stuff like this show and Ruby and RVB happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, we appreciate we appreciate all of you and uh after this is uh, uh the age post team doing some stuff doing Ooh. stuff gameplay uh games i know I like games. I, you know i we've been talking about a little bit i think i like video games <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Also, buy the I Have Notes shirt. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>